All right, this is something useful to know when shooting on an Alexa. Some other cameras behave like this, some don't. I will make other videos for other cameras in a little bit. We can look at the difference between ISO 200 and ISO 3200. The shutter was changed to compensate, and if we look at the scopes, you can see a slight difference in the look here. There's obviously more noise, 3200 ISO, and the highlights are a little bit lower. When we look at ISO 3200 at the same exposure as this first clip, if we were to bring that exposure down by four stops, because 3200 is four stops above ISO 200, we would match the exposure of the first shot. So I'm gonna take a still of this and I'm gonna put it over the original still. So this first shot, ISO 200, accurately exposed. If we were to shoot this same shot at 3200 with the same exposure, one over 300, same exposure here, but have a minus four stops reduction LUT on the camera, we would be left with something like this on the right side where the highlights are smoother and it's a slightly different look. I get questions all the time on exposure LUTs and is it the same as just shooting at a lower ISO? Some cameras it is, some it's not. ISO 200, ISO 3200. You can do this test on your own and see the same exact thing. ISO 800 to 1600 doesn't look as different as 200 to 3200 but as you move up, it's a little less contrast and just has a different look. So being aware of that on the Alexa straight off of the camera, these are two very different looks. The point of all of this is that I can gain the advantages of ISO 3200 while also not gaining any noise. If we look in the bottom of the scopes here, the noise is the same. I'm shooting at 3200 here, but I'm bringing it down by four stops. So it's crushing the noise back down to where it would have been if it was just shot at ISO 200. So you're gaining the, the advantages in the highlights of 3200, but you're exposing it over so that you're not getting this. This is accurately exposed 3200, but look how much noise there is. There's a lot more noise in the shadows, which you can see here in the waveform. And this is 3200 overexposed and brought back down. This is 200, which some people might just say, why not just shoot at 200? And the reason for that would be because look at the difference in the highlights. Overall, it's not that huge of a deal, but I do find that sometimes when I'm shooting something, I want it to be seemingly more crisp right off of the camera. So maybe I might shoot at 400 ISO. If I want a little bit of this happening in the highlights instead of this, maybe shoot at 1600 ISO. Sometimes I shoot at 3200 ISO. These are all ProRes shots. In Airy Raw, sometimes what I do is put it at whatever ISO, 800 most times. I captured this at 200 and then in the next version, increased the ISO to 3200 and lowered exposure by four stops. So these are two different looks. Sometimes this look is better, sometimes this look is better. And you can, of course, grade this to match this, for example. Here's the two different versions. Now they look the same, but the version at 3200 had this right off of the camera. This version, it still is slightly different, but this version just had, had a curve. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just valuable for me to know this. Crisper, a little bit softer. As always, test this before you rely on it. If you're not familiar with it or if, if you haven't used the camera, if, you're, if you haven't done something like this too much. Also, if you're using an exposure reduction LUT in the camera, make sure you put the false colors based on the log image. If this is what's on the screen and you have your false color based on the look, it's gonna say that this is clipping and you're gonna reduce your exposure, thus not taking advantage of flooding the sensor with light. If you have your false color based on the log image, image you can see here this is just no corrections whatsoever you're not clipping here your false color will tell you that you're not clipping and you know that your combination of shooting at a higher ISO with a stop reduction LUT in the camera is still keeping you safe this is a quite hot exposed image especially once it goes to rec 709 it still looks great once brought back down